Hello, and welcome to this edition of Ask Dr. Robin. I'm Dr. Robin Silverman, Child and Teen Development Specialist and the creator of the Powerful Words Character System. Today's letter is from Rebecca in Dallas who writes, Dear Dr. Robin, I recently turned 40 years old and decided to get fit. My husband and I both started eating healthier and exercising several times per week. We want to set a good example for our children and help them to live a healthy life as well. What would you suggest? That is great, Rebecca. Congratulations on embarking on a healthy lifestyle that is right for you and your family. January always seems to prompt a focus on health, nutrition, and exercise. Our children need to learn how to help themselves grow up healthy and fit, and of course, strong. Fit children eat nutritious foods, they engage in physical activity, like the great exercise you're getting at your own academy, they get enough sleep, and they blow off stress in productive ways. It's important to note that healthy children can be at a variety of different weights and heights and builds. Weight is only one indicator of health, so consult your doctor about the many other ways to determine health. Now, being a fit child should be fun, it should be tasty. Physical activity can and should be enjoyable. Nutritious meals should also taste delicious. Strict rules and restrictions can backfire and make fitness a chore. So while living a healthy lifestyle should be part of a daily life, special occasions, every once in a while, we can engage in those special treats. Here are some keys to raising a fit child. Number one, encourage physical activity. These activities should be appropriate for the child's stage of development. Now, according to many things out there, many experts out there, we really should have our children getting at least one hour of moderate physical activity each day. And this may be free play or it might be constructed uh, physical activity. With so many fun activities out there through your classes, at your academy, free play outside, physical fitness is bound to be fun. Number two, limit sedentary activities. Activities such as TV watching, video game playing that don't require much physical movement are considered sedentary activities. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that children watch no more than two hours of TV per day, and that includes that screen time. We need quality educating, educated programming if they are watching TV. That kind of TV watching with absent-minded type uh, programming can lead to some negative effects. Next, be a positive role model. Show your child how to be fit and active. Your child's looking for inspiration from you. When parents make healthy food choices, they refrain from smoking, excessive drinking, they lead an active life, children are more apt to follow in those fit footsteps. When parents simply tell their children to eat well, take care of their bodies and exercise, but don't do it themselves, leading a fit lifestyle can be a hard sell. Number four, present a variety of healthy foods. I often tell parents to present a rainbow of food choices. All the different colors look tempting, they taste great, they offer so many nutrients. Be sure that the number of unhealthy snacks don't outnumber the amount of healthy snacks in your home. Children have a tendency to go for those unhealthy snacks first. Also, if you bring them to the grocery store, allow them to pick out their own healthy snacks or help you prepare a healthy meal in the kitchen, they're much more likely to want to eat it. And also watch that soda or pop intake. Number five, watch negative body language. Saying negative things about your body, your children's bodies, your other people, uh, people's bodies in your life can create shame, competition, and concern. We want to refrain from becoming body bullies in the lives of the families we love. Create what I call a fat talk free zone, featured in my positive body image book, Good Girls Don't Get Fat, where negative fat talk is not tolerated. Focus on the strengths of everybody's body, overall health, what a body can do rather than how it compares with the Hollywood standard. Small changes can really make a big difference. That's all for this edition of Ask Dr. Robin. Please continue to send in your questions and they may be featured next time. In the meantime, please make it a very powerful month. Goodbye everyone.